Hi, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to detect vehicles from a video. To keep things organized, create a folder in the desktop or wherever you want and name it Vehicle Detection. Now we need a video of traffic camera. Launch your web browser and search for traffic camera video. Go to the video result. You will find many videos here. Download one of them and save it inside this folder. I've already downloaded a video named traffic and kept it inside this folder. Now launch the MATLAB, then click on this Browse for Folder icon. Locate the folder we have created a minute ago and click on Select Folder. Now we are in our working directory. Create a new script by clicking here and save it as main. Here is our script. Here is the video folder and the video is inside the folder. Now we are ready to start coding. First of all, we need to read the video and we do it using a function named video reader. This function requires the location of the video. Our video is located inside the video folder and the name of the video is traffic.avi. Now this function will load this video. Store this video in a variable named the video. We're going to use vision.foreground detector. The machine learning model we're going to use to train the system to recognize the vehicle is Gaussian mixture model. To do that, we have to set the first argument to num Gaussians. It represents number of Gaussian background node. Let's set the value to 3. In order to make the learning period faster, we should limit the number of frames. To do that, we use an argument named num training frames. It stands for number of training frames. Let's limit it to 50 and store this entire object detector in a variable named object detector. Then initiate a for loop. It will iterate for 150 times. In every iteration, it will read frame from the video and it will store the frames in a variable named frame. Then we need to pass the frame to the object detector. To do that, we use a function named step. The first argument of this function is going to be the object detector and the second argument is going to be the frame. Now it will return the object. Let's store the object in a variable named the object. Then use the figure and I am show function to show the frame and give it a title that says this is the video frame and do the same thing again this time it will show 
the object. Give it a title. It is going to be the object. Let's run the code and see what happens. We can see this is our video frame, actually one of the video frames. And these are the object. Those have been detected from the video frame. However, if you notice carefully, there are some noises on the object. Let's remove this noise. We're going to apply morphological operation to remove this noise. And it starts by the declaration of the structure of morphological operator. The function we use to declare the morphological structure is STREL function. The first argument of this function is the type of the structure. We're going to take a square structure. The second argument is the size of the structure. We're going to take a 3 by 3 pixel structure. Let's store it in a variable named structure. Now we can apply this structure on the image to remove the noise using imopen function. The first argument of this function is going to be the object where the noises are. And the second argument is going to be the structure. I mean the morphological structure and this function is going to return a noise free object let's save it in a variable named noise free object again we're going to use the figure then I am show function which will show this noise free object and give it a title let's call it object after removing noise let's run the code and see what happens if I place this noisy object and noise free object side by side we can compare that the noise of this image is gone from this image. So we could remove the noise from this image. Now we can proceed. In order to detect the vehicle, we have to consider them as a box. The problem is we can see this object has a peculiar shape and there are lots of blobs here too. That means we cannot consider it as a box. The easiest solution to this problem is to use blob analysis object. Using this object, we can ignore the blobs and express these objects as bounding box. To do it, the first argument of this object bounding box output port has to be true there are other arguments of this object such as area output port centroid output port actually we don't need them that is why I simply set the value to false however there is one argument minimum blob area that we must have to use and the value is going to be 150 pixel now this object will ignore blobs which are smaller than 150 pixels and thus the peculiar shape is going to be considered as box Actually, this object is going to return the coordinate of the boxes. 
Let's store the coordinates of the boxes in a variable named bounding box. Then we are going to use the step function to put the bounding box on the noise free object. And we are going to store the location in a variable named the box. Now we can insert a rectangle on the frame to detect the vehicles. We use insert shape function to do that. The first argument of this function is going to be the frame. The second argument is going to be the type of the shape. We are going to insert rectangle. The third argument is the coordinate where we want to insert the shape. I hope you remember that we have already got the coordinate in the box. So put it here. Then we can use our preferred color of the rectangle. Let's use green color. Then store everything in the detected car variable. Before showing the result, I want to count the number of the vehicles. The number of the vehicles is nothing but the number of rectangle we have on the frame. We can count the number of the rectangle using the size function. The first argument of the size function is going to be the box and the second argument is going to be the dimension of the data it is going to return. We want a simple number that means it is going to be a one dimensional data. Store the number in a variable named number of cars. Then use the insert text function to insert the number of the cars on the frame. The first argument is going to be the detected car. The second argument is going to be the size of the text area. We are going to take a 10 by 10 text area. The third argument is going to be what we want to insert on the frame as the text. We want to insert the number of cars. So simply put it here. Then set the box opacity to 1. That means it is going to be fully non-transparent. And the font size is going to be 14 pixel. And store everything in this detected car variable. Now we can use the figure then aim show function to show what we have on this detected car variable and give it a title that says detected cars. Let's run the code and see what happens. We can see the vehicle have been detected and in this corner it is written 2. That means our system has detected two vehicles. So we have detected two cars on still picture. That means we can use the same approach to detect vehicles on video sequence. A video sequence is nothing but the flow of still pictures called frames. If we put everything we have done here in a loop, we can detect vehicle on video sequence. It is this much easy. However, before initiating the loop, we need a video player to play the video. We can use the video player object to do it. The argument is going to be the name of the video player. Let's call it detected car 
and store the object in a variable named video player. Then we have to define the aspect ratio of the video. It is going to be 3 ratio 4. And finally, we have to define the video resolution that is going to be 650 and 400 pixels. Now we can initiate the while loop. This loop will iterate as long as the video has frame. At the beginning of the while loop, we're going to read the frame, then we will pass the frame to the object detector. Then we're going to make the image noise free. Then we will get the coordinate of the box that is representing the object. After that, we'll insert the rectangle around the detected vehicle. Then we will count the number of the vehicle. After that, we will put some text on the frame. And finally, we're going to use the step function to show whatever we have in this detected car variable in the video player. Let's run the code and see what happens. We can see the cars are being detected and the number of vehicle is at the corner. This is how we can detect vehicles on video sequence using object detector. That's all for this lesson. If you find this lesson helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.